This software I'm going to show you is held in high regard for its snappy user interface, responsive audio mixing and processing performance, and its extensive list of various plugins and tools. Popular artists such as Avicii, Afrojack, and Deadmau5 uses this software. I'm of course talking about FL Studio. It is widely regarded as one of the best DAWs available, and it is a popular choice for both amateur and professional musicians. But can you guess in what programming language is FL Studio written in? The obvious choice would be C++, because it allows developers to write efficient and optimized code. But you would be partially wrong. See, back in 1997, when FL Studio was originally called Fruity Loops, it was entirely written in Adelphi. Wait, never heard of Delphi? No, I'm not talking about the town Delphi located in Greece. Although it looks nice, I should probably go there sometime. I'm talking about Delphi, the program language. Delphi is an object-oriented programming language that was developed by Borland Software Corp in the mid-1990s. Its main selling point is being able to build Windows applications with a rich graphical user interface. Its easy-to-use development environment allows developers to create an interface by simply dragging and dropping them onto the screen. And by using Delphi's object-oriented programming model, you can customize these screen elements to any style you'd like. It is similar to Android Studio, in which its IDE allows you to drag and drop screen elements for an Android app. But unlike an Android app that uses a Java virtual machine to run, Delphi is directly compiled into machine code that can be executed directly by the computer's processor. This ability to produce fast and efficient compiled code has been one of its strengths for developing high-performance Windows applications such as FL Studio. Not only was FL Studio developed in Delphi though, other applications such as Total Commander and Advanced File Manager is developed with it too, as well as Ultra Edit, an intuitive text editor, Inno Setup, for aiding with installing software, and even the original version of Skype was developed using Delphi. Software written in Delphi was originally stuck to run on Windows, but in 2011, in Bossadero, the company that currently owns Delphi, it released Delphi XE2. This is great because it introduced the ability to create cross-platform applications using its brand new platform independent framework called FireMonkey. It supports advanced graphics features such as hardware accelerated 2D and 3D rendering, vector graphics, and image manipulation, all the while being able to run seamlessly across multiple operating systems and devices. So Delphi sounds great, doesn't it? It is fast because it is compiled, easy to use when using its development environment, and is cross-platform so that it can run on various devices. So why is it not widely used? While Delphi has a dedicated user community, it is not as widely popular as other programming languages such as Java, Python, or C++. Cross-platform ability is also not 100% perfect. For example, it may not support the latest versions of some mobile operating systems. Also, it is not entirely free. While you can use the community edition of Delphi, if you want access to more advanced features such as database development tools or native cloud computing support, you have to spend money on higher tier licenses of Delphi in order to access those features. All in all though, Delphi seems like a well-rounded tool. So should you be using this over C++ or Rust? This depends on you. Delphi and C++ is just a tool like any other languages. If your application heavily relies on a graphical interface and wants an easy way to develop for it while also being fast, then Delphi is a great contender for that. C++, on the other hand, is like a manual car where it is easy to stall and not go fast. But if you truly know how to drive a manual car, it can outperform an automatic car by using special techniques and skill. So let me know, I want you guys' input. Tell me in the comments on what programming languages you use and whether or not you would like to use Delphi. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more informative tech videos like this one, be sure to subscribe and not miss out on future uploads. Have a great day and take care.